that they leave this place alive. I doubt that will happen. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to say these few words. My brother Edmund, stay strong. These things happen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Wilfred. Uh, let me take this opportunity to welcome everybody here and to thank all those who stood with us during Vinny's very painful journey as a cancer patient. I also want to thank citizen of the Royal Media Services because you know when we decided to take Winnie abroad for specialized treatment, we didn't have much money as, as a family. So we need to all us, don't worry the dad and mom, our friends all over, I'll make an appeal and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be assisted. So we prepared a video and she sent it out. We were able to raise enough money to start treatment, so we do her to Turkey with the mother as a caregiver. And when they were in Turkey, a week after they arrived in Turkey, Lulu Hassan. Lulu Hassan is a very, very special person. She took advantage of her program, Shajara, and said she was going to use that program to make an appeal on our behalf. And indeed, Lulu, maybe you don't know, after that program, we were able to raise enough money for it to be treated and to pay rent in Turkey, to pay uh, for medicines, uh, thanks to Lulu's effort. So I just want to thank the entire Royal Media because when uh, Winnie died, that morning I called Lulu and told her, Lulu, Winnie has left us. She said, what? She said, yeah, she has gone. She asked me, can I tell Rashid, her husband? I said, please tell him, because it's fine. She's gone, she's gone. There's nothing to hide. So when she told Rashid that uh, Winnie had died, and I think Rashid asked her to ask me, is it okay if they tell their boss? And I told her, yeah, there's no harm. It's already happened, so go ahead. And I can tell you those who were near the TV at that time, within half an hour, Winnie was already trending on Citizen TV. The whole world knew that Winnie had passed. Thank you very much, Lulu, and the entire Citizen TV group. I also want to thank Winnie's friends all over, you, all over the place. When we needed her final appeal this second, second time around, people were sending in one shilling, two shillings. They called it Haba na Haba. Through that Haba na Haba, we were again able, plus what we had as a family, to take Winnie back to Turkey. But she was never to come back alive. Uh, her mother has already said much about Winnie, but Winnie was a very special person. I've never seen a human being so talented like Winnie. Winnie was a tailor. I didn't know that she was a tailor, she was a tailor make dresses. But when they formed that band, Jukwa, the band, they used to wear one uniform per day. So they'd come back, her, uh, Vicky and Julie, come back at night from the, their gig, and we had a sewing machine. So the whole night, you know, her bedroom was next to ours. We couldn't sleep because the machine was running. She was making dresses for, for the, all the three of them. When we would leave to go to work, they are sleeping. When they come in the evening, they are going to work. They come back again, tomorrow they are going to wear another, another dress. The machine is again running. So I asked Winnie, where did you learn to make dresses? She said, don't worry, I went to school. So that's one talent Winnie had. Yeah, Winnie was a furniture maker. Very few women, even if that they have that knowledge, would do what Winnie used to do with her own hands. She would make very beautiful beds. The bed, the bed on which I, I, I sleep in Mombasa was made for me by Winnie, using her own hands. The dining table that I use was made by Winnie, and many other things. When she came back from Turkey the, the first time, she told her mother 
Uh, I've seen your shop, it's very bare, and it looks, it looks very disorganized. I'm going to arrange it. She told me she's going to make something called a floating. Floating what? <laughs> floating shelves. <laughs> That's not what you mean, floating shelves. She said that you just, you just hang on, you see. And indeed, when you went to town, she bought a, 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 a drill and, and uh, an electric saw. And within two days, she had made some very, very beautiful shelves in the shop. Winnie was a cake maker, a baker. Uh, she would make very beautiful cakes. I'm going to miss my fruit cake because she told me that you don't need to eat uh, cakes made by, uh, with the sugar. I'll make one using a, a fruit and it will taste exactly like the one mixed with sugar. That's another talent. Winnie was a musician. She has such a beautiful voice and at times I used to sing with them because I liked singing also. And I enjoyed being in their company. Winnie was also an actress. And you all, I don't have to belabor that point. You saw what she did in Sultana. But Sultana was just the tip of an iceberg. She had done many others before, that maybe that time she was not very well known. So I have lost a friend. I have lost a very, very dear friend, a confidant, a stickler to neatness. A stickler to cleanliness. Our house is all white. Sometimes you even fear to sit on the seat. So, Winnie was also a stickler to detail. She was never satisfied until she saw what she was doing had come out the way she wanted it. I've lost a financial advisor. Winnie was a director in our company, Nian and Mam. We called Broad Range Enterprises Limited. She was a director there. Actually, I was, a, I was a minority, I'm the minority shareholder. But we and the mother have the, the, the biggest shares. Um, and that company uh, is involved in making, uh, in adding value to products like coco, uh, cashew nuts, ground nuts, sim sim, express in Mombasa. And it's doing very well thanks to Winnie's advice. Winnie pushed me to do things I could not do. But because she's a kid to me and she's advising me, I took her advice very seriously. And when I did that, I succeeded in whatever I was doing. Winnie, before she passed, she had told me that you are driving a very old car. Why did you sell it and buy another one? I said, Winnie, if I sell this car, the, the man will get to be able to buy a new car. I said, don't worry, then hang on it a bit. Let me make some money, I'll buy a new car. So that was the deal where we had struck. I'll miss that car. We need to me that you are struggling to, be, to build your house in Mumias, but we have, we have property in Kilifia. Don't worry, I'm going to put, you put up a holiday home for you in Kilifi, uh, so that you can be, when you retire, you can be alternating it once. Sometimes you are in Mumias, sometimes you are in Kilifi, in your old age. That was never to be also. But as a family, or as her parents, we have accepted God's will, because we need was suffering. As who lived within the same house, we knew what she went through. So initially it was a big shock for us to lose a daughter because it was our hope that she would take care of us in our old age and that she would bury us. Now it's going the other way around. So because of Winnie's pain in her life, we have accepted God's will that she rests. And Winnie, my dear love, I'm going to miss you, but I, but I hope, as you believe, that we shall meet one more, uh, at one time in our lives. Thank you very much for all of you for coming over.